Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So, for this video, we are going to continue for continuous random variables. So, you have seen in the previous video, discrete random variables, which as, as I said, if you see the question, you have to identify it's either discrete or continuous. Let's say the question say discrete random variable. So, you have to identify it's either probability distribution or cumulative distribution function. So, the same thing for continuous random variable. So, uh, let's say the question said about continuous random variables. So you have to identify either probability density function or cumulative distribution function or sometimes we call this as PDF or CDF. Okay, so that's easy for us. So probability density function, this is the definition for, sorry, this is the formula for probability density function. Integrate fx from negative infinity to infinity, you get equals to 1. Okay, for discrete, it's just sum of the probability. Okay, so see the difference there. So, uh, as you can see from here, uh, from PDF, we want to change to CDF, we have to integrate. And to CDF, change to PDF, we have to differentiate. So, this is the example func uh, for function for PDF. And this is your CDF. And then, as usual, we have mean and variance for continuous random variable. So, for all this part, this is the same thing. Okay, so you are going to see for this video, we are going to see probability density function, which is we are going to see the formula here, integrate fx from negative infinity to infinity, which is equals to 1, which is the same thing as discrete. This is, you have to use this to show probability density function for continuous random variables. And also if the question asks you to find the constant, okay, so uh, you are going to find median, and later in the next video, we are going to see these two things, uh, expectation and variance and mode. So, and we have, we are going to find the probability here. As you can see from here, for continuous random variable, we simply ignore the inequality sign. Okay, the equal sign. We are going to ignore the equal sign. For discrete, equal is very important. Okay, you have to identify, identify it's either uh, they have equal or not but for continuous we can just simply ignore the sign so all right we are we just go straight to the note first so here we go probability density function why density okay density is actually this thing here represent area Okay, so we actually want to find the area. So a continuous random variable is specified by its probability density function, which is written as fx. Okay, so uh, if you see the question say continuous random variable and it gives you fx, you know that that is PDF. This function is defined over the range negative infinity to positive infinity. So here is the definition here. Integration from negative infinity to infinity fx dx you get one so as i mentioned earlier this is what you are going to use if the question asks you to show or you want to find show pdf continuous random variable or if you want to find the constant okay so this is what you have to use so what does it mean by integration from fx dx is equals to 1? So let's say if you have the graph here, let me just quickly sketch a graph here. So let's say this is your y, this is your x. So kita ada curve kat sini and this is our b, sorry a, and this is our b. So this is what we want to find. Okay, the probability of this area of y equals to fx. Okay, so uh, what does it mean by integration from fx dx? You know that if you want to find area below the curve, okay, area under the curve, you have to integrate. So, as I said, if we want to show a continuous random variable, PDF for continuous random variable. So let's say you have A and B here, point A and B, and let's say you have another point C, okay, in the middle. So what we have to do is we know that the, the definition is negative infinity, infinity fx. This one has to be equals to 1. Okay, so how are we going to 
prove that we have to start from negative infinity to a negative infinity to a as you can see negative infinity to a there is no function here so zero dx plus okay as we get c here so you have to do from a to c okay so from a to c let's say the same function we have function f1 dx and you have just to go straight from c to b let's say we have another function f2x dx and then we go to b to infinity which is 0 dx and this has to be equals to 1 okay so that is how you show continuous random variable and that is what it means by this uh, formula here this definition here okay so as i said earlier that we do not need to worry about inequalities okay the equal sign so that means if the question said p a p x is between a and b included okay this is just simply integrate fx dx from a to b and also it is the same thing as let's say let's try that one more time b also the same thing as p a x b same thing as p a b and also the same thing as p a x b okay so we can just simply ignore the equal sign there all right let's see example 15 okay a continuous random variable two things that you have to identify for the question is it's either discrete or continuous if it's continuous gives you probability density function okay so that's the two things that you have to identify and we have a pdf for continuous random variable the first question asks us to sketch the graph of f okay so ini basic lah basically uh, apa yang kita belajar dalam chapter 5 last semester kita ada x kita ada y and your x is 1 2 3 okay x is 1 and 3 so 1 3 sajalah 1 3 and then obviously this is a linear function sebenarnya which is we have fx equals to 1 over 4 multiplied by 4 we have 1 minus 1 over 4x okay so negative linear so apa yang kita ada ialah if we substitute 1 dekat dalam ni kita akan dapat 1 tolak 1 per 4 which is 3 per 4 okay so 3 over 4 3 over 4 and if we substitute 3 dekat dalam ni uh, 3 over 4 1 minus 3 over 4 kita dapat 1 per 4 Okay, 1 per 4. So that means when x equals to 1, y is equals to 3 over 4 included. Okay, ada equal dekat situ. So equal is then circle. So when x equals to 3, we substitute into here, we get y equals to 1 over 4. Ada equal dekat situ, so then circle juga. So kita satukan je lah dia. Okay, so basically that is your graph. And the next question, dia kata verify that it satisfy the condition of a probability density function so we know that verify show is the same thing sebenarnya kita nak showkan negative infinity infinity fx dx is equals to 1 okay so we start from negative infinity to 1 kat sini to 1 which is obviously the function is 0 sebab tak ada function kan daripada negative infinity berhenti sampai sini so plus then 1 2 3 which is function 1 over 4 to 1 over 4 4 minus x dx plus and lastly is 3 to infinity which is the same 0 dx okay obviously this one will be 0 this one will be 0 so we have to focus on this part so can integrate lah so you are going to you do you are going to do uh, many basic integration for this subtopic here Okay, so 1 over 4 is a constant. So, kita ada 4x minus x square over 2. Integrate from 1 to 3. Okay, so then sub, we have 12 minus 9 over 2. Minus 4 minus 1 over 2. And you sub into your calculator, you'll get one you supposed to get one sebab dia kata verify so bila soalan cakap verify we have to do conclusion since 
integral from a to b of fx dx is equals to 1 x satisfies the condition of probability density function okay soalan cakap verify soalan cakap show you have to do the conclusion ada markah dekat conclusion tu okay let's see question b find px less than 2 okay ni bukan discrete eh bukan px equals to 1 px equals to 0 nope this is continuous okay continuous random variable as you can see dekat sini dia sentiasa bersambung grafnya okay so px less than 2 that's why i had i asked you to identify what's the question ask continuous so if we see continuous, there's always a uh, an integration. Okay, must take another integration if the question said continuous. Some other integration or differentiation lah. So now we have to find the probability of px less than two. So by the definition of continuous random variable, you have to integrate from negative infinity to infinity. But now it stops at two. So we have negative infinity. We can do negative infinity up until two. Okay, so or just we can just write like this from the 2 is somewhere here, right? This is 2. So negative infinity to 1. Sorry, negative infinity to 1, which is no function, 0 dx plus 1 to 2, which is the same function 1 over 4, 4 minus x dx. Okay. So you can just simply ignore this part. I just want to explain that so that you can understand clearly. Okay, so that will be 0. So 1 over 4, we just integrate the same thing as before. But the only difference is your limit here. 1 to 2, so we have 1 over 4. We have 8 minus 2 minus 4 minus 1 over 2. Okay, and we'll get the answer 5 over 8. So that is how you find the probability for continuous random variable. Okay, so continuous. If the question gives you probability density function and asks you for to find the probability, you have to do integration. Okay, all right. So let's see another example. Example sixteen. Okay, two things we have to identify: continuous random variable and it gives us probability density function. There's always integration in this question. Okay. So, the first question, find the value of the constant k. So, as I said, if we have continuous probability density function, find constant. What we have to do is this thing here. Okay. So, we have question A. We have integrate negative infinity to infinity of fx dx equals to 1. So, that is what we have to do. Now, we let's see. Uh, kita dah belajar dah dalam last last chapter. No, last chapter. Last semester, chapter 5. If you see piecewise function, it's easier if we do number line. Okay, jelas apa yang kita nak cari. So, here the limit we have 0, 2, 3. Okay, so from uh, 0 to 2, the function is k x plus 1. From 2 to 3 is 2k and this one obviously 0, 0. Okay, so now we have to integrate from negative infinity to infinity. So you have to start from negative infinity to 0. So we have uh, integrate negative infinity to 0 which is function is 0 dx plus integrate 0 to 2 which is function is k x plus 1 dx plus integrate 2 to 3 2k dx and last one is 3 to infinity 0 dx and we know that all of this is equals to 1 okay so this thing here is this thing here so obviously this one will be 0 will be 0 and the only thing that we have to integrate is the in the middle here so constant k ialah constant keluarkan dia so integrate x Plus 1, we have x square over 2. You are going to do many, so many ba basic integration for this chapter, for this subtopic here. Okay, 2k. 2k ialah constant. So, integrate constant, kita ada 2kx lah, obviously. 2kx, integrate from 2 
to 3 equals to 1. Okay, now we are going to substitute. So this one is 0, 2. So K, kita ada 4 over 2 is 2 plus 1. Sorry, 2 plus, no, this one is X, sorry. Eh? X squared plus 1 is plus X. Okay, integrate 1, we get X. So here 2 plus 2 plus 2K is a constant and up here inside here is 3 minus 2 equals to 1. Which is we have 4K plus 6K minus 4K equals to 1. And uh, 10 minus 4K we have 6K equals to 1. And lastly the answer is K equals to 1 over 6. Okay, so that is how we find a constant for continuous random variable, probability, density function. Okay, we are going to resize this. Alright, so B, sketch the probability density function. Okay, so now we are going to sketch question B. So obviously we will have our X and our Y. And x, we have 0, 2, 3. So this is 0, 2, 3. And then you have your k. So this is going to be 1 over 6, x plus 1. And this one is 1 over 6 multiplied by 2. We have 1 over 3. Let's change this part here as well. 1 over 6, x plus 1, 1 over 3. Okay, so now when x equals to 0, we substitute here. This is your 0. Okay, so you have to substitute into this equation here, this function here, not this function. So sub 0 in here, we have 1 over 6. Okay, so 1 over 6. So first one is 1 over 6. So sub 2 inside here, 2 plus 1 multiplied by 1, 1 over 6, we have 1 over 2. Okay, the next one is what we have 1 over 2. This one is when x equals to 0, y equals to 1 over 6. When x equals to 2, y is equals to 1 over 2. When x equals to 3, which is 3 is here, we have to sub inside here. Okay. So when x equals to 3, y is equals to 1 over 3, the same thing, but you have as well 2 here. So when x equals to 2, y is also equals to 1 over 3, okay? Which is not included, not equal dekat situ. So, apa yang kita akan buat dekat sini is we are going to susun, rearrange dekat sini 1 over 6, 1 over 2 and 1 over 3 according uh, ascending in the ascending order lah. So, kat sini yang paling kecil ialah 1 over 6. Then we have 1 over 2. Sorry, 1 over 3. And then we have 1 over 2. Okay, so when x equals to 0 tadi, y is equals to 1 over 6. So, 1 over 6, 0 ada equal. So, empty circle. Sorry, dense circle kat sini. And then we have x equals to 2 here. Okay, no equal. Empty circle. So, our y is equals to 1 over 2. So, open kat sini. And the next one, x equals to 2. Kat sini ada equal. Y is equals to 3. So, then circle. Sebab ada equal. And the last one, x equals to 3. This is 1 over 3. We have then circle as well. So, apa yang kita kena buat? Nama pun continuous. We have to do, we have to just sambung je lah. Okay, so that is going to be your graph of PDF. Okay, alright. So, settle this part. Let's see question C. Find mood. Okay, let's see the checklist here, the summary. Find mood, which is we are doing continuous random variable. PDF, and we want to find the mood, which is here saying that we have to draw graph pdf which we already draw the graph okay if the question gives you uh cumulative let's say we haven't learned about this but if the question said 
cumulative gives if the question gives a cumulative you still have to draw graph pdf okay to find your mode because with this graph only we can find the highest probability here which is the highest probability is 1 over 2 here okay which is at x equals to 2 so simply just write mode is x equals to 2 okay which is the mode is the highest probability lah okay next we are going to do uh question d a b c d okay d which is the question asked to find probability of 1.5 x between 1.5 and 2.5 okay so we want to find x between 1.5 to 2.5 but we only have 0 to 3 so 1.5 is somewhere here 1.5 2.5 is somewhere here 2.5 so what we have to do to find probability there's always integration okay because we are do because we are doing probability density function so basically we just has to integrate from 1.5 to 2.5 okay as you can see from the definition here mm, this one integrate p a x x is between a and b is basically integrate from a to b tetapi kalau dia sama function okay kalau kita tengok dekat sini ini ialah 1.5 okay if we integrate from 1.5 to 2.5 dia ada dua function will be easier okay so we cannot just integrate straight 1.5 to 2.5. So we have to separate kan dia 1.5 to 2.2. Two, two. Ah, macam mana tu? 1.5 to 2. Uh, 2 to 2.5. Okay. Which is from 1.5 to 2. Apa function dia dekat sini? This one. 1 over 6. X plus 1 dx okay plus integrate 2 to 0.5 which is the function is 1 over 3 dx okay so that is how you use the probability okay if this the 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 range is the same function you can just integrate straightforward okay tapi kalau function double beza you have to separate kan dia right so now we just integrate basic integration integrate x square plus 1 so x square plus 2 plus x from 1.5 to 2 plus this one is simply 1 over 3x from 2 to 2.5 okay so we have 1 over 6 here substitute kan kat sini kita akan dapat uh, 4 over 2 is 2 plus 2 minus here we we'll get 9 over 3 plus 1.5 plus 1 over 3 2.5 minus 2 ok so kira-kira-kira kita akan dapat supposedly the answer should be 0 0.396 ok at least 3 decimal places ok so that is how we find the probability and let's see one more time let's try the last question so, Alan D, find Px greater than 1.8. Okay, so question E. Px greater than 1.8. Okay, so 1.8 is actually somewhere here, 1.8. Okay, so you have to integrate from, this is 1.8. So, you have to integrate from 1.8 to 2 using this function. 2 to 0.5 eh sorry 2 to 3 using this function okay that is one way lah okay tapi kamu tahu kalau kita ada greater dekat sini we can change okay we can make it easier which is kalau greater you want to change to less than we just put the total probability is 1 minus by px less and equals to 1.8 you learn this in cumulative distribution function in your discrete random variables okay so now we have total probability is is, is 1. Okay, your 1.8 is somewhere here which is this is 1.8. So what you have to do is just simply integrate from 0 to 
using only one function. Okay, so 0 to 1.8. Okay, nampak? Sebab dia daripada negative infinity to infinity. Okay, so you have to start from negative infinity to infinity. This is the definition for x less than equals ni. Sorry, less than less than equals. <coughs> so here we have only one function, 1 over 6 x plus 1 dx. <coughs> 1 minus 1 over 6. So we have x square over 2 plus x integrate from 0 to 1.8 so 1 tolak 1 over 6 kat sini big bracket kita ada uh, 1.8 square over 2 kita supposedly have 81 over 50 plus 1.8 then minus 0 so here you'll get the answer 0 0.43 ok so that is how we find the probability for probability density function for continuous random variables okay so make sure you understand correctly for all part of this question here okay so next kita akan tengok next example Okay, so next kita akan tengok Next example, example 70 We are going to try one more time You don't understand in the previous question So, we have two things to identify It's either discrete or continuous So, here we have continuous random variable It's either PDF or CDF So, this is we have PDF And you can see as well You have a small letter of G there So, that is your PDF So, we have piecewise function So, to make it our life easier Just do the number line we have from negative 2 to 2 we have only one function h x square okay which is here is 0 here is 0 so the first question find the value of h so kamu tahu nak cari value of h by using the definition kita ada integrate from negative infinity to infinity fx dx is equals to 1 okay so you are going to integrate from negative infinity to negative 2, negative 2 to 2, 2 to infinity. Okay. So we have negative infinity to 2, sorry negative 2 which is function is 0 plus negative 2 to 2 which is function is hx square. And lastly is 2 to infinity which is function is 0. All of this is equals to 1. Okay, nampak dia mesti mula dengan negative infinity, mesti akhir dengan negative infinity. Okay, then only you get negative infinity to infinity lah. So, this will be 0, this will be 0. Here we have h as the constant. We have x cube over 3. Integrate from negative 2 to 2 equals to 1. And here, we'll have 8 over 3 minus negative 8 over 3 equals to 1 and kira yang dekat dalam ni you supposedly get 16h over 3 equals to 1 and we have our h equals to 3 over 16 ok so now you know your function here is 3 over 16h uh, sorry x square Okay, so that is one thing. So the next question is asking us for for the probability of x less than 1. So b is px less than 1. You are doing continuous random variable probability density function. Always add the integration. So what we have to do here, 1 is somewhere here. Okay, satu dekat sini. So obviously you have to integrate from negative infinity to negative 2 which is you'll get 0. Okay, so you can skip that part and then we have to integrate from actually negative 2 to 1. Okay, which is the function is 3 over 16 x square. So take out the constant 3 over 16. So x square is x cubed over 3 negative 2 to 1. 
So, sub je lah. Simple integration je dekat sini. We supposedly get 1 over 3 plus 8 over 3. And lastly, the answer is 9 over 16. Okay, so by now, you supposedly dah ada idea dah apa yang kamu patut buat untuk PDF CRV ni. Okay, C. Okay, now this is the def <coughs> modulus. Okay, so definition for this, this is very important. Kamu kena tahu kalau kita ada P modulus of X less than A. So the definition is P X is between negative A, A. Okay, very important. So, now let's change that to P negative 3 over 2 X 3 over 2. Okay, now uh, 3 over 2 tu akan jadi somewhere here jugalah. Okay, so function yang sama. So, we can just terus integrate daripada negative 3 over 2 3 over 2. Make sure you check your limit dengan function kamu. Okay, kalau macam soalan kita, kita just ada satu function. So, it's easier. Obviously, we are going to use that function. Okay, kalau dia ada 3, 4 function, you have to check the limit dengan function dia. So, now we have 3 over 16 x square dx. So, integrate lagi benda yang sama. 3 over 16 x cube over 3. Cuma the difference is the limit je lah. 3 over 2. So, 3 over 16, substitutekan dekat sini. Supposedly, akan dapat 9 over 8 plus 9 over 8. And the final answer ialah 27 over 64. <coughs> okay. So, that's it. Question A, B, C. Now, let's see question D. If P modulus X less than M, so you know the definition for this is P negative M X M. Okay, equals to 0 0.5, find the value of M. So basically the same thing, we only want to find the limit lah. Sekarang, bezanya. So here we'll have question D. So given to us P modulus x less than m equals to 0 0.5 so by using definition we can separate this to negative m x is between negative m and m equals to 0 0.5 so kita akan integrate from negative m to m which is the only function that we have is 3 over 16 x square equals to 0 0.5 so, keluarkan constant lagi. Integrate lagi macam biasa. Benda yang sama dah tiga kali kita integrate. 2 negative m equals to 0 0.5. So, now sub the limit. The limit m, we have to stop, sub into the function. So, you'll have m cube over 3 minus m cube. So, kat sini akan jadi plus. m cube over 3 equals to 0 0.5. So, here we have 2 m cube over 3, 3 over 16 pindah sebelah akan dapat 8 over 3, so we have m cube equals to 4 and m is equals to cube root of 4, ok so that is actually your median lah, dekat situ, m dekat sini ialah median kita ok, so that's it, probability density function con for continuous random variables, ok probability density function Nak cari probability dia, mesti kena buat integration. Okay. Look at the limit, look at the function. Okay. So, here we have the example of one more function here. Let's say we want to find the, inter the probability from 1.5 to 3.5. Okay. By using defi this definition, you know that supposedly 1.5 to 3.5 kan. Tapi, dekat sini as you can see that 1.5 to 3 is this function here okay and 3 to 3.5 is this function that's why we have to separate kan dia so kalau dia function sama it's okay we just can integrate straight forward kalau function dia lain you have to separate lah okay so next i'll see you guys in the next video